Jim will definitely stop it though. So if she oh. throws a bomb and it hits the ground, she should not use this neutral beam. All right, so let's see how it plays out. We have been theory crafting, but it all comes down to execution. Mm, got a, oh. Okay, so. Good job finding their way in early. Really staying on top of the young link here, not allowing them to set up their zone. Oh, that was excellent. Let's do reverse. Okay. Starting to trade blows pretty evenly. The up beat get out of jail free. Yeah, that's definitely what you want. You want to fight the young link at that range. <laughs> Alright, so. C3 now setting up some edge guarding, which Cloud is notoriously bad off stage without limits, so that was a really good early kill. Yep, just keep him there and grab when he gets in pitch. There we go, we're starting to see a little bit of a runaway now with the second stock. Crump losing a little bit of the aggression that was working in their favor earlier. C3's patented jump from ledge down air. Something that, while predictable, can also be really hard to beat if you're not ready. Oh yeah, with those uh, auto-cancel frames, it's very difficult. Works almost like clouds. Oh my god, no such. Uh, badly spaced forward air is gonna eat some disadvantage for that. And she thought she could nair, but unfortunately limit up is just too fast. Plus, I, I think maybe some armor on that? It looked really... I'm, I'm not too sure if it works that way in this game. I'll have to check, but okay. definitely really fast. I thought it just beat out a move, but I could be totally wrong. All right, so the cross slash is eating projectiles and going right through. And a risky play from Crumb going off stage. Now they're going to be in disadvantage on the ledge. I may be called for shark. All right, no worries. I have a solo. But until then, we see a limit forcing the high recovery and keeping Z3 off stage. So this is good. This this game has been evened up really well. And it all comes down to how the cloud acts in advantage. Because uh, Young Link, while very, very good neutral, um, Young Link does get blown up in disadvantage, especially against uh, sword characters. Gotcha. All right, so now Crumb's gonna wanna find this kill soon before those percentages start getting in the triple digits and the game starts running away. But if you have a stock, you have a chance, so. Okay, some. Oh, that was good. Coming down with an aggressive option is the right play. Z3 starting to, yep, get aggressive, and there it goes. That was a good reactionary play. Like anyone else, I feel, would have just like, thrown something out. I think it would go that way or that way. But that was really good on her part, waiting to see where he would end up and then punish. Yeah, that's a uh, really good, really good patience from Z3. Something we're pretty used to seeing. Am I crazy? Was that two games? I. Yes, it that was. was. Two games? I feel like it was. Was it? Okay. okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I, I just saw her get up, so I'm just like. Yeah, I must have, have fallen asleep or something. All right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Like, for my part, because I was just like, oh, you only just won. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> that happened to me at a Yu Gi Oh tournament once. It was a best of three. We played one game, they're like, I got you. <laughs> I believed it. All right. Now into this game too. Can Crumb make the adjustments they need? Let's see. I believe that back air, even though it crossed up, um, it was definitely unsafe and she could have punished with that beat. But it's so hard to react in those situations. Right, something you have to be kind of expecting. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. All oh, right, and a tomahawk grab coming in. Keeping Z3 at ledge. Okay, this is really good. And now center stage has been taken. 
A well placed oh, down air going over the cross slash limit. Grab as a B. Z3 slowly taking more stage with this really aggressive zoning. Keeping Crumb off to the sides. Now a forward throw will keep them off stage. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Alright. That's some slick boomerang combos. The kind of things you get hit with once after two games and you're like, whoa, they had that in their pocket their whole yep. time? It was interesting because he thought he had the uh, the read of the up smash, but the boomerang just came back and stopped him. And a lot of people they they lose to misdirection. Oh, I'm I'm right here. Yep. I'm, I'm not here actually. I'll I can play. All right. So now Crump taking oh, the sorry. first stock with the 170. Can they extend this lead and get some extra credit before losing their stock? Let's see. All right. Double up B out of shield. Safe. Get out of jail. Free card. The equivalent of Youngling's Boomerang coming back a third time. All right, if it works, it works. Fourth time. Oh, okay. Fifth. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Honestly, it is, oh. mixing it up now. Maybe it was a little too stale if the frame started. Okay. Uh, well placed dash attack. No. Counter zoning. So it's too far away. Crump has done almost 90% of that point before taking a single percent on this first stock, so that is awesome. Yeah, that's that's just how Cloud has to play it. Okay. okay, so a good bit of extra credit. Can Crump close out the second stock, putting themselves in a nice healthy lead, or can Z3 bring it back right now? Let's see. Right, yo, the back air nicely placed, taking Z3, taking their second stock. Still fairly even with uh, just one conversion, only really can kill if the cloud remains at ledge. So that's kind of what Z3 would want in this situation. So just push him to ledge, get one, maybe fair one to confirm, and then it's a bad. So you would say try to hold center stage as the cloud exactly. right now. That's, that's exactly what's happening. Oh, well, no, for Z3's favor. All right, mm. a well-placed Nair, something that's relatively harder to hit in this game. Those meaty forward airs coming out just with those covering those aggressive landings. All right. Okay, now the limit's on deck with the ledge trap. Can they make this work? Oh, beautiful. Barely misspaced. C3 yeah. getting out of a dangerous situation. Okay, Crump is now. Oh! Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of that. And a nice dash attack to close out the second game. Crump making a comeback. I believe that was an instant dash attack as well. That was a really good reaction on this part. It's just the startup of uh, Young Link's grab when he dash grabs, it's just so easy to react to. Very huge commitment. Okay. You mean to let the young Link whiff and then punish? Or when, before when it comes see, out? When you see the young Link uh, dash and then the hook shot comes out, there's like a five, six frame window where you can just punish that. Wow, yeah. okay, that's good to know. Usually young Link has to rely on misdirection. So when they feel like they're gonna get hit by a projectile, they'll just shield and then they will not see it coming. You're manipulating the, uh, me what is it called? Mental stack. There you go. Okay. This is some advanced stuff. Nice. There. Okay. okay, a relatively even start on this third game. Looks like both players have made a few adjustments, and Z3 starting to... Very good. Okay. Double back air. Interesting stage choice. I I don't normally play on this stage as Young Link because the platforms on the side will stop the arrow to arrow combos, but that's not something that um, she commonly goes for. Just because of the not because she can't do it, but because it's just very risky as well. So. 
kind of curious as to why she chose this statue. Yeah, it's hard to say what the fans are. Oh, and just missing the cloud waft there. And a well-placed dash attack once again, taking the first stock. Now it's extra credit time. Can Crump run away with his lead? Z3 with a risky up smash, taking some percent for it. Getting rid of that limit before they can capitalize. Oh. That's a good grab, yep. Okay, and the percent's all but even once again. Z3 bringing it back. For, for as good as Young Link is, it's very hard for Young Link to just jump in and get what Young Link wants. So, oh, that was good, good shield. Just get the limit out. Okay, now Z3 seems to be playing a little bit more patient, and so does Krom. There have been a, f a lot fewer up close interactions until actually just recently. Exactly, yeah. She's definitely not jumping in. Yo, no, that's me. Uh, SSJ. So, I'll be right after this. Good. good landing, good landing. Okay, a limit. Wasted and a eating a forward smash for trying. Red like a brick, honestly. Very good patience from Z3, waiting for them to make the first move. Now it looks like Z3 starting to make some adjustments in this third game, but is it enough, or is it too little, too late? Let's see if Crumb can bring it back, or if Z3 has started to figure something out. Both both characters have a very similar disadvantage, where it's like once they get touched, it's very, very difficult for them both. So this could go either way at this point, regardless of game state right now. So this is a very important neutral, is what you're saying right now. It's yes. more than maybe Just other like, matchups. Yeah. Okay. So that one hit um, into reading what they're going to do in disadvantage, that's the entire matchup. It's okay. been that way ever since uh, Smash 4 with Toon Link. While they're conceptually different characters, they play in a very similar way. Okay. Nice. And that was so is that it? No. Unfortunately, no. Young Link just doesn't have... All right, an aggressive limit, Oops. maybe a little bit much. Now, is Crumb starting to get a little bit too aggressive and losing the patience? This is where Young Link thrives the most. Yep. Once the zoner's in your head and you start acting a little bit aggressive, then that's when they start winning. The jump in. All right, let's see. Crumb seems to be wanting this limit. Oh, and oh, an unfortunate that's SD. That's so sad. You hate to see it. That's so sad. But I understand. Well, it was a well-fought set by both players. It could have gone either way. If it was a best of five, it's really hard to say. Absolutely. Is it a best of five? Um, okay. <laughs> it might it be a best, a best of five. five. It's a best of five. Okay. okay. All right. So I guess we're staying, and it still can go either way. In, in San Antonio, we only play best of fives on finals. On, uh, on like w uh, winners finals and grands. Oh wow, that's yeah. very few. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just not used to that. Honestly, I don't make it to best of fives long enough to know at what point it starts. So this is a welcome surprise. Yeah. All right, now Crumb just kind of playing really well, just shielding that barrage because you're gonna have to be really, really um, patient in shield for it to actually do any kind of substantial shield damage. So. Because being moderately patient is going to work out really well. I like the idea of using the bombs to clog the lane where he wants to jump in. That's that's very, very good. It's like a different uh, mode switch in neutral. Yeah, exactly. Use the bomb to clog the lane where he wants to jump in and then punish accordingly. So Young Link thrives off of playing rock, paper, scissors, but making you choose your option exactly. first. Exactly. Yeah, Young Link, when it comes to whiff punishing, even with his projectiles, just so good. He can kill you at any range uh, with the arrow to arrow confirmed. He has a lot going for him. It's just a disadvantage, and his ledge options, unfortunately, are just not, not the best. Young Link has been a pretty good character for the life of Ultimate's meta, and I think it's just one of those things where in 
you can theory craft a matchup all you want with whatever character, but the execution is just very difficult and mentally taxing. Oh, absolutely. Especially because Young Link is one of the most dedicated zoners with the most variable amount of projectiles and able to put the most projectiles out there at once. So a really good patient up smash there from Crumpo will not find its mark. And Z3 kind of starting to run away a little bit with this fourth game. Oh, an immediate use of the limit. I will kind of want to see Crump using their limit more sparingly. It seems like they're rushing to choose an option the second they get it, rather than maybe waiting to react to Young Link and then picking something. Okay, oh, a clean fair one to down tilt to up air. We've seen Z3 hit that over and over, and it's just so clean and deadly. So it looks to me like Z3 is starting to adapt more heavily than Crumb. Oh, yeah. Um, Crump was definitely doing a great job going in with his aerials, but Z3, she's been clogging the lane with bomb initially, and then switching to the arrow to clog the lane. So it was, it was a really good uh, mix-up in neutral, and it's starting to affect how he's playing because he's not being as confident in his jumping. Okay, an instant down air right there. One too many down airs will lead a punish, but Z3 bounces right back and they're fighting for center stage control. Once again, with the limit, I, I do think Crump is using it too quickly. And is that, oh, unfortunate. Well played by both players. Good luck in your match. Thank you, you too.